Well, for the ones who guessed it right, Errol Spence wins again. Welcome to Knock the F Out Podcast, number 10. Man, Mr. Cleveland, I put it to you this way. They left it up to the judges, but you knew damn well it wasn't going to be no controversy when it came to this one. Because this was a massacre. Now, like I said before on the previous podcast, Mikey, I respect what you did, you know, moving up two weight classes to challenge this man. But like we said, clearly, clearly, you had bitten off a little more you could chew. Ladies and gentlemen, this wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. You know, I, I can remember texting, uh, I think it was like midway through the fight, I I texted Mr. Cleveland. I said, dude, this, 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 this ain't even fair, man. It ain't even fair. Um, Mikey didn't win one round. <laughs> okay, he didn't win one round. If you wanted to be generous, you could have gave him the second one. If you really, really, you know, felt sorry for him, you could have gave him the second one. But Jesus, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't really see him winning one round. This was one, it, it was like a 10, it was like a 10 8 straight. Without a knockdown, man, that that's a beatdown. That's an embarrassment. It, it it was it was shit. Mikey was scared to, to to fucking throw a punch. It looked like he was just scared to throw in there. He was just like he was in survival mode. The moment that damn bell rung, you know, and, and just like I said in the previous one, you could go in there with a game plan until your ass get hit. He felt that heat coming from Errol Spence. He was like, oh, shit. <laughs> he finally knew Errol made him a believer last night. And everybody else who said that Errol couldn't box, he wasn't technically sound, he couldn't, he, he wasn't intelligent enough to beat him. Dude, he outclassed Mikey Garcia in every way you can imagine. Mr. Cleveland, what you got to say about this massacre of a beat? That's exactly what it was, a massacre, man. I told you it was going to be a beatdown. Um, like you said, man, Earl just showed you it was levels to this. And for all those people who thought that Earl couldn't box, and like you said, his IQ was low, he, he shouldn't be in the same ring as Mikey, be honest with you, if you know about Earl, you've heard about all the sparring stories, him beating Mayweather up so bad for the Pacquiao fight that he kicked him out. Then the next day, he lets him come back to the gym. Him beating Adrian Broner so bad that he starts crying. And this is not like I, I'm making this stuff up. You'll hear boxers and other trainers come on a record and say, yeah, that happened. Especially the thing with Adrian Broner. Uh, Freddie Roach came out and said, yeah, I saw it myself. He beat the kid so bad he was crying. Um, Earl is the truth, like his name implies, man. This was a one-sided beatdown. Mikey did not do anything. i put it to you this way. Earl beat Mikey every type of way it is to beat you. He beat him outside boxing. He beat him on the inside. His defense was better. His reflex was better. His speed was better. There's nothing Mikey did last night that, that Earl has not seen or that Earl couldn't handle, man. And it looked like Mikey was looking for one shot. And I think what round was that? Round number 10, one of, the, one of Mikey's worst rounds. He landed a solid right hook on Earl, and, and Mikey thought he had did some. Earl walked right through it and smiled, and I'm like, yeah, that, that, that killed a little bit of spirit that Mikey had left because uh, he, he did his damnness to land that right hook, and it was a good solid right hook. Landed on the button. Looked like if he, he'd have had some type of pop behind it, he, he, he could have possibly earned Earl's respect, but by that time, Earl had, had punished that boy like, this was a master class at boxing. Earl jabbed. Earl used his straight right. Earl used his, his, his right hook. I mean, not a straight right, but a straight left. Earl used a, a left hook. He went to the body. Earl landed. Let, let, me, let me get the numbers because I, I want to be correct when I say this so you guys don't think I'm over-exaggerating how bad of a beatdown this was. Hey, Earl hey, 
but, but Mr. Cleveland, but Mr. Cleveland, before you give, before you, right before you give him the numbers, it didn't matter if Mikey landed that in the tenth round or the first round. He couldn't hurt Arrow, man. He couldn't even hurt him, man. Dude, anything he threw at Earl, Earl ate it up, man. He couldn't yeah. even hurt. Him. The only thing I can say, if it was in the first round, it might have had a little more pop behind it, but. By the, by the time the 10th round came, it had no steam. Yeah. But Earl landed 345 punches in a 12-round bout. Mikey landed 75. That should tell you how bad each one of these rounds were. It got to the point where I, was, I wasn't I was feeling sorry for Mikey like Chuck, but I was saying his corner needed to throw in the towel. This fight took years off of Mikey's career, man. It wouldn't surprise me if Mikey don't fight but a couple more times and retire. And Mikey's not, but 30, 31, man. That's how bad this was a beatdown. Th this is going to affect him the rest of his career. Well, you know something? I will say this. I will say this. The way that boy was in that ring taking that beating like that from Arrow, I said, well, you probably, you probably can give some of them welterweights a little hell, though, man. I do. I mean, look. Yeah, like, yeah, I could see him versus Danny Garcia all day long, man. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. Like, if he wanted to, if you were able to take 12 rounds of a punishment like that from Errol Spence, dude, I kind of like his chances against a guy, like you said, like a Danny Garcia. See, you know, I, I mean, but, but. I think he said that he's going to go down. I think he go, I think he said he's going to go on back down to his class. But, dude, Mikey, I got to say, man, I gained a lot of respect for him, though, man. He is the toughest, the toughest motherfucker I've seen in, in quite a while. You know, because that boy, he went the distance. He survived. You know, and I mean, Arrow was landing some some bombs on that Bombs. Boy. Yeah. I, 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 said, I said, Mikey, hang in there, Mikey. Hang in there. I mean, you said your last name ain't Myers. If he hits you with one right one, you damn sure ain't coming back. I swear, I said, look, man, I don't know, Robert. You might want to throw out that goddamn towel because Mikey is getting the beat down in this motherfucker. You know, but so it was it was just that kind of night for Mike, unfortunately. Um, but come on, man. <laughs> we are we we all saw this coming. I I I thought. You know, it didn't live up to the name, though. You know, this is not the F5 podcast. I did have Errol Spence knocking this boy out because I, I did not see this. I didn't see Mikey Garcia being able to um, endure that kind of punishment. <laughs> you know, I, I, I didn't see that either. You know, so I gained a lot of respect for Mikey, but uh, it just wasn't Mike's night. Um, anything you want to add on to that, Mr. Cleveland? Yeah, I told you guys Mikey needed to walk to the ring with, with a, a diaper on because Earl was going to beat the brakes off that boy. A couple rounds I did see Dudu sort out and, and land on the canvas. Earl, was, that's how bad it was. Earl was mixing it up, body, head, head, body. He had Mikey off rhythm. He, you could tell Mikey was unsure of himself. And this is the thing that I liked about Earl. Earl, he basically, he outboxed Mikey. Earl usually comes, he's a, a, a seek and destroy type of fighter. But man, he kept it in the center of the ring and he really punished Mikey. He got to a point where, where he was basically toying with Mikey because he could land any punch at any time. All he had to do was come behind that jab and that's what he was doing. That's what he was doing. So man, uh, to me, this shows everybody else because I already knew how technically sound he was. That Earl can box, he's just not know some come forward swinging wild punches he's tactical my man knows what he's doing he's the truth for a reason man now that we got this out the way oh something else i want to mention for a second man after the fight manny pacquiao got in the ring you know damn well manny pacquiao don't want no smoke with earl spence jr man so can we can we please stop that it, it would be nice but manny seen what happened manny like oh no he, he like red daddy you want some too old man he took his ass home. He got in that ring. He tried to sneak out. Earl's like, nah, 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 nah. Come over here. We can get it next. And you know, Manny, uh, yeah, it's a great, wonderful time. 
uh, Earl Spence did good. Yeah, well, maybe uh, possible. Uh, yeah, Earl, Earl will beat the brakes off of Manny. That will be Manny's last fight. So I, I'd rather see Earl fight one of these young guns than, than the old head Pacquiao, man. Pacquiao ain't got nothing coming with Earl. I feel what you're saying as far as that, man, but I think Earl Spence does need that fight. He need that fight on his resume, man. This is It's a passing of a torch kind of a fight. I definitely do think Manny Pacquiao will fight Earl Spence. Manny Pacquiao is a warrior. Um... I think Manny Pacquiao would definitely, I think it would be an honor for Pacquiao to do that for Arrow, man. Um, you know, I think he, he, he like in the stage now, man, where, come on, man, Pacquiao, no. He, 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 he no, he's, he was sitting down in that crowd and I was, and I was talking, I was telling somebody, I said, because it was funny, it was like Pacquiao out there, he gonna call him out, man. I said, well, I'm thinking Pacquiao, her rumblings about an Errol Spence, and he's out there checking them out, and I think he's going to be one of the first ones to find the exit once the fight's over, you know. But uh, he 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 got in that ring, he he got in that ring, and uh, you know the the challenge was made, and Pacquiao has said, hey, you know, I, I would love to come here and, and fight. Let's let's do it, and and and, and, and Pacquiao's not a Keith Thurman, uh, Pacquiao ain't no Sean Porter. Pacquiao is a warrior, man. And I think that this would be good for Errol Spence. He had, because even this Mikey shit, you know, I mean, we all knew what it was. But the Mikey shit looks good on his resume. He had a, a credible fighter at 39 and 0. You know, a lot of hype was behind him and everything else. And, and a lot of doubters. He had a lot of doubters as far as his technical abilities and everything. And he proved everybody wrong there. Okay. that That's good for Errol. This Manny Pacquiao fight. It, it, it's dude. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna look good on Arrow's resume, man. All this shit that's happening for Arrow, man. I'm happy for him, man, because he deserves it. You know, uh, he he deserves this. You know, Broner. He, if you ask me, Broner didn't even deserve to be in the ring with a Pacquiao. Arrow Spence and Pacquiao. That's 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 going to be a fight. Pacquiao will throw more punches. Will definitely, <laughs> you know, throw more punches than um, Little Mikey. You know, uh, I, I think he would definitely put up more of an effort, you know, against Errol Spence. It would definitely be more of an entertaining fight, if you ask me. But in the end, all be all, man, you know, Errol Spence would be the one to get the job done, you know, and it would be a passing of the torch, and, and, and that would be great for Errol. But I think we're going to have to take another month, one-month hiatus, man, because uh, I'm looking at the schedule. I don't really see any fights that's leaping out that we need to talk about. You know, um, but the next fight we will be back for enough, enough of talking about your boy, man. Enough of talking about your boy. It's time to talk about my boy now. It's time to talk about the boy who I think, who I think, better yet, goddammit, who I know will be the one to dethrone Errol Spence Jr. whenever they clash and collide. Those Terrence, are big words, man. Those are very listen, big words. Listen, and, and and the guy I'm talking about can bag it up. Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford will be going up against Amir Khan. 420, 2019. Bud is fighting on Bud Day. So everybody put your lighters up for the man, Terrence Bud Crawford, as he will proceed to light Amir Khan's ass up for 20, 2019, live from the garden. And we will be all over that. Check us out at WrestlingWrestling.com. Subscribe to the channels. Andre Corbeil, Chuck P. A. Hey, and don't forget to hit that like button, man. We appreciate you, man. Chuck PCville's finest, Mr. Carl Cleveland. We up out of here. We'll see you 420, 2019. Peace. With Bud Crawford and Amir Khan.